computer. All right. So if we wanted to do gradients, All right. I could come in here and On a curve, I always break it into two. This is part of a curve right here. And then I wouldn't do one here. I would probably do two again. And I wouldn't use an ellipse tool. Come in here and clean it up. So I'm zooming in and zooming out the one and the two key. And then I'm going to fill these in. And this is why you want to be using Harmony for your backgrounds um, because you know you're going to be zooming in on a scene and it's going to be really clear versus some other imported bitmap image. Connect them, circle the joint, and you can adjust it. Pretty good. That's all pretty good. Now let's see what we can do with the paint bucket, right? So I can clearly get that color, right, with my picker. And I can also turn it into a gradient. Let me get the multiple wheel always. So. Let's say that's the highlight and that's the low. There's one more in there. Let's make it real low. So we've got three. And if you click in here, you, you just keep making more and more and more. Um, what does it look like? It looks like that. Now, it's wrong, right? Because this highlight is on the right and it just, it just does that. So how do I fix that? Under the contour editor, you've got this gradient texture editor and you just click in there, rotate, you could squish, All right? push and start playing with these gradients, right? Let's turn it on and off, see what we're getting, right? We're getting Maybe it could be a little darker 
here and a little lighter here. But I can also come in and move these around, right? And say, oh, maybe it's darker, maybe it's lighter. Um, if I make another one of these and push it up, look what I did, right? I, I'm limiting the highlight and the shadow even more. I can push the shadow. That's pretty good, right? Same thing with the uh, um, this color here. I can. I made another gradient color because I was actually on this one when I hit plus. So um, I can just select a different one so it's not a gradient. And do that and just say, all right, that's, that's good enough. So with a thin line, right? I think I'm using a, it was not a 15. Oh, here's the line. It was a three. So when I'm doing backgrounds, I'm usually using a two, but this three will work good. And then I can draw my characters in a five, right? Or if I'm doing my backgrounds with a five, then I can draw my characters in a seven or eight. And they will feel um, closer to the camera, right? Um, now here's what I'm telling you about the camera itself. And, um, when we're working with Toon Boom backgrounds. So, and I'll show you this later, but when I zoom in, notice what's going on here. When I hit render. The background is crystal clear right? Versus this bitmap. I would, you know, this is not a high quality image, but when you zoom in, um, you lose no quality whatsoever. And I'm always keeping it at 100% because that's going to give me the true test of how this thing looks. So, for example, and we've We've looked before. Um, oh, here. So here I have a guy um, speaking. Where's my playback? And it already is. Like where I live in El Sabino, you know, you just you go you drive through hundreds and drive and there's a huge encampment. Can you guys hear this? Right? And, and it's and you know, and some people will say, yeah. Oh, it's just a whole bunch of sure. addicts and, okay. and and people with mental health issues. It could be that, but it's also families. It's also people that are, that are, are able-bodied to work and to, and to live, but they just can't pay their housing. They can't they, the the unemployment crisis, right? So, like, you know, you have these these problems that then are off, oftentimes okay. again, so on the individual, right? What is this going to look like rendered? Um, I've got it at one hundred percent right here. Let's take a look. So that means I moved the camera 
pretty close. There we go. Oops. So within here, we've got a number of different things. We've got this glow effect. So I put a, a blur and transparency on so just basically a color blob, right? That has transparency and a, and a blur effect. And we'll talk about that. This back here is just a bunch of transparent brush strokes that when I turn the render on, you can see um, has a blur effect, right? And then this you could see is just, it's the same as the render. Uh, it's just a brush, like a chalk uh, brush mixed with other things. And then when, you know, a transparent shadow like this gets a blur, um, I can I can focus on what I want the viewer to focus on. Um, and if I zoom out, you could see it's a great big room with tons and tons of things in it, right? And I've gone through, you know, combing over every inch of it just to to make sure that when I zoom in and a character is sitting right here, um, the scene looks good, right? Or if I zoom in, you know, and the character is sitting anywhere in here, it'll render well. Um, So we'll get into cameras and things, but um, let me save that. But in terms of uh, gradients and backgrounds, detail, zooming in, zooming out, right? Um, so I'm not just staying out here and drawing from one view because it'll be too chunky. You know, it'll be too like a post-it note or a napkin rather than, um, you know, a world we can enter into. Okay. Any questions about the gradients? Okay. Okay. 